Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Dynasty on the Mix. I'm here at the beautiful Bent String Studios here in Tampa, Florida. If you haven't heard about us or been to our studio yet, make sure you check out our page, Bent String Studios, on Instagram or bentstring.com, our official website. Today, I'm bringing you guys a breakdown of a mix that I did for one of my clients, C. Milligan, on his song, Hold Up Wait. Let me show you guys his reference mix that he sent to me. He recorded this at his home studio and sent it to me to get mixed. So he did his own little rough mix to it just to give me the vibe of what he's looking for. And uh, there are some elements in it that he said he really likes so he wanted me to make sure I either really kept them or made them just a little bit better and uh, really kept that idea there so I made sure of that but let me go ahead and play this for you guys and show you what his sounded like hold up hold up hold up wait I'm on my way I don't live here so I can't stay 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 hold up His rough mix sounded pretty good, clean, you could hear the vocals up front, the beat was a little lacking, but we're not going to sit here and judge his mix. I got the idea that he was looking for, but he told me to get more creative. He told me to get really creative with it, and uh, I like animating things. So his lyrics, hold up, wait, hold up, wait a minute, hold up, wait, hold up, wait a minute. I heard something in there when I was listening to the song for the first time, and I felt like I needed to animate that part more and bring it to life. So I'm going to show you guys some ideas that I came up with and uh, show you guys the before and after of this mix right here. So that was his rough mix. That was the before. Now let's go into the after. All right, so we heard his rough mix. Let me show you guys my final mix and then break down what we did in this for you guys. So here we go. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Wait, I'm on my way. Don't live here, so I can't stay. Stay, stay, stay. I say, hold up, wait, hold up, wait a minute, hold up, wait, hold up, wait a minute, hold up, wait. She want me to stay a minute, but I got a dream, I got a chase, and it's gonna take a minute. All right, so you guys can hear that I did some drops, I did some automation, as you can see. Uh, I added some special effects in there, and I also created a harmony form. So that's the first thing you hear. So let's break that down first. So right here, when I first got the mix, I had heard this part and the way that the beat broke down and the way that he did it, he did it just the same note, one center, one left, one right. And let me show you guys how that sounded. Live here, so I can't stay. Stay, stay, stay. I say, hold up, wait. It sounds good, but it needs a little more sauce. It needs a little more transitional uh, creativity there. So instead of calling him up and saying, hey bro, can you uh, do some harmonies? I just said, let's create them. Uh, digitally, which he gave me the permission to do. Um, and so we're going to show you guys what I came up with here. So I decided he needed a higher note, which was the uh, octave, which I went 12 semitones up. And I turned it down negative 3.2 semitones just because I wanted it to sound less robotic sounding. When I turned it all the way up, it just sounded really robotic. Um, and then right here, we did the same thing. Uh, but this one, if you look, I had the mix on, I think it was like 60, yeah, 64%. That just left some of the clean audio, that the raw audio from before playing. So I, did, I had a little bit more of a spread because just having the all three of the new notes, it took away from the original note. So I wanted that to still be in there somewhere. Um, and then down here, we did an automation. So you don't even see it right now. But when this changes, you see this little ramp right here. That's the format going down to negative eight. And also, I'm, I'm automating the volume of these two high ones to kind of raise up in your headphones so or in your ears. Here, so I can't stay. Stay, 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 stay. I say, hold up, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Now, a lot of people ask me, why do you go to negative eight instead of 12? Because everybody knows that, like negative 12 is the octave, yes. But negative eight sounds cleaner and it still gives you that deep tone that sounds in key and it's not off key from anything. So negative eight is usually a number I go to if I'm trying to do an effect like that. But if I'm trying to do like a demon voice or something, I might probably use negative 12. Um, but again, that was also the format and not the pitch. Now, uh, let me show you after that, there was a transition and I created this reverse reverb and instead of just leaving it normal mono, I felt it needed to spread out and create this bigger transition there. So, uh, going from those harmonies that were kind of wide and then going into this mono reverse reverb just seemed kind of stale. So what I did here was I went into another 
Sound Toys plugin, and I got out Micro Shift, and I automated the mix. So if you guys don't know, here's a little quick tip. If you guys don't know, if you're in Pro Tools and you're on a Mac, you can press Control, Option, and Command, and click on almost any macro. So I want to automate the focus. I can go ahead and click there and click Enable Automation for Focus. And now if I look over here on the left side, now right here, Focus is now it Automation Enabled. And so that just makes it quick, easy. You can go ahead and just go, get to automating things. Now, because I know sometimes they're hard, hard to find in the menu. But now let me show you guys how this sounds mono. And like I said, it doesn't add enough transitional oomph and just, I don't know, power to the, to the mix. Let me show you guys how this sounds. Live here, so I can't stay. I say, hold up, wait, hold up, wait a minute. Sounded cool, but it just wasn't big enough. Let me show you guys now. Live here, so I can't stay. I say, hold up, wait, hold up, wait a minute. Now you feel that transition more. Now you feel that drop a lot more, and it just makes you excited for that next part. And the next part, I did a lot of drops on the hold up, wait, hold up, wait, hold up, wait, because I wanted those weights to really make you like animate into the song. Like, wow, you want to listen to what he's saying, but you also want to have fun with it. So I brought that to life with that part, but I also wanted to keep the person bouncing if they're dancing or maybe they're playing it out live. Um, you want something there to still create that that bounce for them instead of just dead space. So. I put these uh, slap delays in there um, just to have them do eighth delays, and it sounds really bouncy in there. So let me play that through for you guys. So as you guys can hear, that just brought that to life right there. And uh, that was just some fun stuff that I added to the mix. Not every mix gets this type of thing. Not every artist wants those type of things in their mix. But when the artist gives me permission, I have fun with it and I try to bring the mix to life. So if you guys like that, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, like, share, comment on this video. And uh, I'll see you guys next video.